Hi everyone, my name is Nuno Fonseca, I'm the creator of Sound Particles and I'm going to show you how to use the, the software to uh, position uh, audio in virtual reality files. So if you have a 360 degree video file and you want to add some sound sources over there, so you can see how easy it can uh, and accurate it can be done with sound particles. So sound particles usually it's mainly target for sound design when you want to create things like uh, battles and thousands of sound sources and things like that. But sound particles can also be used for other types of applications and virtual reality is one of them. So let's create a new project. So I'm going to create an uh, empty project. Um, I'm going to import some video uh, files, so I have in here this uh, uh, 360 degree uh, video that uh, uh, Eric Fassbender uh, uh, allowed me to, to use in this demo. So essentially you have this, this video over here, so you can see uh, uh, this uh, scene with uh, a car passing by and a bicycle and some uh, some uh, nature kind of village. Um, so let's start adding things in here. So I'm going to change this for a 360 degree video. I'm simply going to say that this should be interpreted as a 360 degree video. And also the microphone, I'm going to change this for ambisonics, first order, uh, but uh, eventually you can position sound sources and then in the end change the type of microphone because you may have may want to have some ambisonics with higher order or eventually uh, uh, some kind of multi-channel system 5.1, 22.2, whatever. So let's start uh, looking in here. So imagine, for instance, that you uh, you have the, some sounds coming from this uh, bell ch church over here and you want to position some sounds in here. So I'm going to add a single point source. I'm going to call uh, bells. Um, I'm going to import the audio file, so I'm going to import this audio file in here. Uh, and now it's a matter of positioning sound. So I'm going here to the position and when you press here you're going to see these arrows and this allows you, can be as simple as simply moving this into into the position where you want the sound to come from. So essentially you can even be highly accurate and even say exactly from where do you want the sound to come from and that's it you if you now render all of these you're going to get the ambisonics with the sound coming exactly from that point because in virtual reality we have the problem that if the user is actually facing the sound source uh, and if the visual uh, position of the sound source and the the audio that you are getting are not perfectly aligned you can easily detect those situations and it's going to sound uh, slightly fake. So let's see a different example in here. So um, also in here we have this scene, this part where you're actually going to see a man moving around and imagine that you want to attach some kind of sound in here because you want uh, this man is yelling or something like that. So let's also create a new point source. Uh, Let's call it man. Uh, I'm going to import the audio that I want to position, position here. So slightly change the color of this point. Um, and now let's position the, the sound. So the man is over there. So I'm going to drag the position in here. But the problem is that, as you can see, the, the you have a man moving around and you want the sound source, of course, to uh, also move around. So I'm going to use automation and keyframe animation. So I'm going to uh, say that, okay, I have a keyframe here. So currently in this time, the sound source should be here. And for instance, later on, the sound should, should be over there. So I'm going. So, and what happens is that when you play this, actually the computer will going to interpolate the sound source between these uh, two points and of course you can add more control points for in, in here imagine that you want this to be slightly uh, better and later on you want the sound source to be 
over here and this uh, or eventually you want the 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 scene to start with the sound coming from there so you can create all of these things to make sure that the sound it's perfectly aligned with the image in terms of uh, space um, so now let's see a different example that is slightly more difficult and you have this the car and this bicycle moving around and you actually want to to uh, add sounds to to hit so let's add a single sound source once again let's call it car uh, i'm going to import the the car audio file and now let's position the 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 car that currently it's over there so you can even say okay the car it's over there but you want later on imagine that in here you want let's add keyframe automation and keyframe animation so you want in here this sound to be over there and for instance in here you want the sound to be over here and the problem here is that the movement is actually n not linear so as you can see essentially it's here the sound source and then it moves quite fast in this short period of time and uh, so how can we handle this essentially it's a matter of adding much more control points to make sure that everything is perfectly uh, aligned so you can create uh, for instance in here you say okay the point it's there and now more or less in the middle okay it's over there and in here so it's over there. so essentially you can add several control points and simply come continue to see if the if the the sound is actually tracking and adding these control points and by adding control points you are or you are making sure that the sound is perfectly aligned with the with the image and simply you continue to add more additional sound source you can even for instance in this case create different sounds and you could say okay this is the sound from the front of the car and this sound from the back or different uh, wheels or things like that and actually where you move this you're going to see that the sound source is more or less uh, continue to to following uh, the car and tracking the car so in the end it's only a matter only a matter of render everything and you get the the final uh, ambisonics result coming from the uh, all of this sound uh, and then you simply need to export this um, I'm going to uh, this is finishing exp render, rendering everyone so export audio and then you simply export this if you want you can create an audio file with all the tracks or eventually a different audio file for each one of the, the tracks and then you get the final result with the belt the man and the car everything positioned perfectly aligned with the original uh, sound source Once more time.